In this video, we will be solving the question Evaluate integral over c x y dx plus x y square dy by Stokes theorem, where c is the square in the x y plane with vertices 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, and 0, minus 1. From here itself, we can understand that the normal vector is equal to k cap. Okay, so let's continue our solution. Given f equals x y i cap plus x y square j cap plus 0 k cap. For Stokes theorem, integrate over surface curl f dot n ds. Therefore, curl f equals del cross f, which is the determinant of this one. Here, this is the i component and j component. Here, it's k component, which is 0. And the solution of this determinant is y square minus x into k cap. Now let's have a look on the curve. So this is the x axis and this is the y axis. We have the point here 1 comma 0. Here it's 0 comma 1. And here it's minus 1 comma 0. And here it's 0 comma minus 1. So let's join this or So this is the curve and now using the line equation y is equal to mx plus c we can form four equations that is one over here that is x plus y equal to one here it's x minus y equal to one minus one here it's x minus y equal to 1 and x plus y equals minus 1. So we have four equations. Since all of these are equal in area, we can simply write this as integral 4 times integral c1 f dot dr. So we have double integral over the surface curl of f dot n ds which is equal to double integral over the surface y square minus x into dx dy since this was y square minus x into k cap dot k cap so simplifying this we get this one now we have to define the surface so we have so we are taking the curve x plus y equal to 1. We have x varying from 1 to 0. Since the line was like this, the x varies from 1 back to 0. So since we are taking the positive orientation, the x is varying from 1 to 0. And y, y is equal to 1 minus x, which varies from 0 to 1 and which is 0 to 1 minus x giving double integral x is equal to 1 to 0 y is equal to 0 to 1 minus x y squared minus x dy into dx we are integrating first with dy then with dx which is equal to integral over x equal to 1 to 0 y cube divided by 3 minus x y and the limits 0 to 1 minus x dx applying the limits we get x equal to 1 1 minus x divided by 3 and the whole cube minus x into 1 minus x dx simplifying this we get 1 divided by 3 x equals 1 to 0 1 minus 6x plus 6x squared minus x cube into dx now we have to integrate this and apply these limits which is equal to 1 divided by 3 x minus 6x squared divided by 2 plus 6x cube divided by 3 minus x raised to 4 divided by 4 1 to 0 now applying the limits we get 1 divided by 3 into minus 1 
of 1 minus 6 divided by 2 plus 6 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 4. Then applying the limits, we get 1 divided by 3. And applying 0, we get 0. 0 minus, and applying the 1, 1 minus 6 divided by 2 plus 6 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 4. Which is equal to 1 divided by 3 into minus of 1 minus 2. Minus of 1 minus 3 plus 2. So this is cancelled out. And minus of minus 1 by 4, which is 1 by 4, equals 1 divided by 12. Now we have to multiply this with 4, which is 1 divided by 12 into 4 is equal to 1 divided by 3. So this is our answer. Wow, that's impressive. You have completed a magic today. For more videos, subscribe. Join our Facebook group and Instagram page for group discussion and live magazine videos for exam preparation in an hour. We start at class like community for students to learn from a friend in a simple way and support them in their own languages. If you are willing to be that one friend who save us at the exam night preparation, then please join us by visiting classfly.n.